This week's episode is small, but the news is big. Celebration 6 is announced. It's Friday, June the 3rd, and you'll hear about that story and more on This Week in Star Wars' 50th episode. This Week in Star Wars is your source for new and noteworthy developments from the galaxy far, far away. I'm your host, Matt Fox. And now, this week's lead story. On Thursday afternoon, StarWarsCelebration.com began taking ticket orders as well as reservations for hotels for Star Wars Celebration 6. Clearly, Star Wars Celebration 5 was the hit that many thought it was, as Star Wars Celebration 6 will also be held in Orlando, Florida during August. As I just mentioned, tickets are available for sale and come in a variety of flavors. Adult tickets for the entire four-day event will run $135, while individual days are $55, with the exception of Saturday, which is $60. Kids' tickets are $54 for the weekend and $27 for individual days, and there are also family packages which come in six different varieties. Also available for pre-order, sight unseen, are the Unisex Celebration 6 t-shirt for $30 and a Celebration 6 commemorative guide for $20. Hotel rooms are also available to reserve at the StarWarsCelebration.com website. Special convention rates are available for guests as well as the ability to book group rooms. A momentary scare was sent through the community yesterday, as some of the choicer hotels appeared to be sold out already. Intrepid attendees quickly discovered that this was not actually the case and that rooms were still available. And in fact, at the time of this recording, all hotels do appear to be available on the site for reservation. Make This Week in Star Wars your source for Celebration 6 news, as we will bring you all the details, no matter how minute, as they develop over the next 446 days. And be prepared to hear this almost every week for the next 14 months. Star Wars Celebration 6 will be held August 23rd through 26th, 2012, at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. To put things in perspective... Two San Diego Comic-Cons will occur between now and the time Celebration 6 happens, and we have news about the first of those in this week's collecting segment. As we have reported before, Sideshow Collectibles 2011 San Diego Comic-Con Star Wars exclusive, and by exclusive that means just about anyone can order it whether you're attending or not, is now available to both attendees and non-attendees at the Sideshow website. It is an Attack of the Clones Phase 1 Armored Clone Commander 1 6th scale figure, and it is available for $95. Hallmark has announced that their always hard to get San Diego Comic Con exclusive Christmas ornaments this year will be a Bounty Hunter 2 pack featuring Dengar and IG 88. Unrelated to Comic Con, Sideshow also has announced that their next Polystone diorama is going to be a Darth Vader Luke Skywalker Bespin Confrontation diorama entitled I Am Your Father. A preview is available on the Sideshow website, and it will begin pre-order on June the 9th. Nothing new in bookstores this week, although next week we'll see the release of Dark Horse's The Old Republic The Lost Sons series, issue number one as well as the scheduled release of Clone Wars magazine, issue number 5. Expect big video game news next week, as it has been announced by Spike TV that next Monday, June the 6th, during its E3 convention coverage, they will have an announcement from Microsoft regarding the Kinect Xbox 360 Star Wars game. While the game was actually demoed at last year's E3, since that time there has been no more official news or announcements on the progress or what the game exactly will be like or when it will be available. We hope that those questions will be answered next week, and when they are, we'll bring them to you on the next episode of This Week in Star Wars. Do you have time to kill in a pointless and entertaining manner? Well, StarWars.com has debuted the Star Wars Crawl Creator, which allows aspiring filmmakers and chronic procrastinators alike to type just about anything they want and see it fly across the screen like the crawls at the beginning of all six Star Wars films and almost every other Star Wars property. You can see a demo on the This Week in Star Wars Facebook page as well as a direct link 
to the crawl creator itself. Lastly this week, The Phantom Menace in 3D may not be the only George Lucas film in theaters early in 2012. Director Anthony Hemingway has tweeted that Red Tails, Lucas's long-planned story of the Tuskegee Airmen, America's first black pilots during the Second World War, will be released in January of 2012. This announcement has yet to be confirmed by anyone, and the film was last reported to be in reshoots. But if we can't trust the director to know when his film's coming out, who can we trust? I had planned to use this week's commentary segment as sort of a thank you acknowledgement for uh, 50 episodes of This Week in Star Wars, but I guess I have to talk about Celebration 6, don't I? Well, of course, I'm glad that it's been announced and I can't wait for it to happen. That said, I can't really say that Orlando in August of 2012 is the big surprise that that Reed executive blog sort of hinted that we were going to get. But Orlando in August of 2010 was a hit, so why mess with success, right? Well, what I guess it does guarantee is that we can probably expect another 50 episodes or more of This Week in Star Wars between now and the time that Celebration 6 rolls around. So, please get in touch with me, let me know what you want from your Celebration 6 coverage over the next 14 months. If you hear news, let me know about it. If you have thoughts, post them on the Facebook forum. And let's all help each other get prepared for the big bash next summer in Florida. And, yes, I can already announce that there will be a This Week in Star Wars Celebration 6 exclusive. I don't know what, but it'll be cool. The long-promised, long-awaited, long-overdue, and just plain long Clone Wars Season 3 Roundtable Roundup is recorded and being edited down to a manageable level. You can expect to see that in your iTunes feed sometime over the weekend. I hope you enjoy it and find it at least marginally entertaining. That also means that our t-shirt contest is over. I want to thank everyone who entered, and I'm looking forward to an excuse to hold another contest in the near future, so keep your ears out for that. But even without the incentive of free clothes, I hope you'll go to iTunes and leave us a positive feedback, or just go to the Facebook forum and, and start a conversation. And that was This Week in Star Wars. Join us again next week for more news, notes, and developments from the galaxy far, far away. Visit our website, www.thisweekinstarwars.com, or if you're in a hurry, www.twisw.com There you can find past episodes, links to some of the stories we discussed, as well as photo galleries and other interesting Star Wars related tidbits. You can also find links to the other realms of the This Week in Star Wars media empire, including our Breaking News Twitter feed, our Facebook page, as well as links to email addresses where you can contact the show. If you have questions or comments or news suggestions, we encourage you to contact us at host at thisweekinstarwars.com. Help us grow the community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive review at iTunes. You've been listening to This Week in Star Wars. We troll the web so you don't have to. This Week in Star Wars is not affiliated with Lucasfilm, its subsidiaries, or any other entity mentioned in this podcast. Star Wars, its characters, and creations are the property of Lucasfilm. All of the trademarks are property of their respected trademark owners. This Week in Star Wars is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. This podcast is copyright 2010, This Week in Star Wars. Invaluable technical assistance provided by WebStorm Interactive. News, comments, and questions can be directed to host at thisweekinstarwars.com. More information, links to stories presented, past episodes, and additional contact information are available at www.thisweekinstarwars.com. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei!